What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about virtual reality and architecture. So virtual reality or VR is something very new and exciting and it's just starting to kind of enter our little architecture world. And uh, this summer I was in Germany, I was visiting that BIM girl and she surprised me by taking me to Autodesk and she actually has a video on, that, on, on her channel so check that out. And uh, while I was in Autodesk, they uh, kind of introduced me to their uh, VR department where they're developing like the latest, latest and greatest in VR for architecture and for what, whatever other needs Autodesk has. They have also some animation uh, with, uh, with 3ds Max and Maya, so I'm guessing they, they have something for like the, the movie industry or something. But as far as architecture goes, it was very exciting. They showed me some tools uh, that can kind of help you to navigate through, through spaces. And it uh, kind of got me, start, started me thinking about uh, what is VR and how will it change our uh, our world of architecture and how will it change our jobs as architects? Uh, so the first thing that 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 really th that I think that is going to make like the biggest difference uh, is the fact that even people who don't have like the perfect spatial awareness will be able to kind of check everything how will it look in real life because even if, even through renderings you don't really get that feel of the of the space you can try to get that feel and if you have like a a perfect rendering with like a lot of post-production it can look perfect but you're still kind of relying on some post-production to add that feel that uh, without actually being in space and being able to look at, at space and to kind of feel it absorb it from all angles uh, you don't really have that that feeling of what it looks like so just to have a tool that uh, <coughs> you can keep next to your <coughs> Uh, sorry, next to your computer and just place it on your head and just kind of go go around and see what uh, your, your building will look like and use that to make informative decisions. That's just amazing. Then we get to the second level and that's presentation. So now presentation to your client can be just perfect because you can, it's not, again, you're creating photorealistic renderings is great and uh, your client gets a perfect picture of what uh, what it will look like, but the fact that you're, you can basically place your client in their future virtual uh, building, that's, that's some next level stuff there. I mean, you'll be able to show everything to your client and you'll be able to kind of impress them and hopefully get them to pay just a bit more to to get a a bit more wilder architecture when they're inspired by actually being in this in this space. Uh, now the problem as far as presentation to client uh, clients goes, uh, it's uh, basically VR doesn't really have that high-end resolution yet, and the rendering times for some presentation uh, level, uh, how would you call it, presentation, presentation uh, level renderings that can be viewed in VR is it's just horrible like it takes a week for you to render some, some something and in, in VR for example if you want to have like a fly around your building and you want to actually render that and you want somebody to be able to be in VR and just look 360 degrees while they're flying around their future building it just takes like like a week to render that on like a powerful machine so uh, it takes a lot of time and the, the end uh, quality the resolution isn't that good so that's something that we'll have to improve in order to make it more appealing to clients uh, and it's actually hard when you're uh, in in VR or when you have that uh, like helmet on and just looking around it's very hard on your eyes and it uh, it's playing around with your senses especially if you're moving around and uh, it's it's very tiring so you can't do it for a very long time and this moves us to the to the next or third option of how will uh, VR affect our our jobs and that's designing through VR now this is something that people have been talking about like uh, you have an option to actually like build through VR but in my opinion it's 
uh, it's in very early stages because again as we said uh, as I said uh, earlier it's uh, still the resolution is bad it's tiring you can't do it for a long time I can imagine it's quite bad for your eyes to have a screen like in front of your face it's it's probably not good for your eyesight and uh, so those are all problems and also what kind of uh, what kind of modifications can you do in in the VR? It's not really as efficient as a computer where you can, especially when you're working with, with Revit, where you can go from like a floor plan to 3D to a maybe an elevation and then make changes through that. I guess you can translate that into VR, uh, but it's kind of a clumsy. It's still a clumsy environment to be able to make some uh, great designs. But what you can do and what is really good is while you're in your model while you're in VR you can actually make notations so you can maybe draw on walls maybe draw a door so later on when you go get back to Revit or whichever software you use you, you have that 3D uh, uh, 3D sketch of where you would like some modifications so while you're in VR you can sketch around and uh, just make some decisions uh, based on your experience inside virtual reality and then you can use those sketches and notations uh, later on when you get back to your computer and you, when you start uh, again designing so those are just some uh, some of my basic thoughts on what VR is and how will it affect our jobs in the future. And please tell me in the comment section below, what do you think about VR? Have you ever tried it? Uh, what's your opinion of it? Uh, would you like to use it uh, maybe in the design process just to see? Or would you like to design through VR? Would you like to present to your clients with VR? Do you, ha do you see some potential problems in the future? So tell me that in the comment section below. And of course, please like and share this video and subscribe I make daily videos and Revit tutorials so be sure to subscribe to that and I'll be coming with another Revit tutorial for you tomorrow